subscribe to James the Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. What's going on, guys? James here, bringing you another video. And for this one, I'll be doing my weekly Bad Movie Friday. And for this Friday, if you saw the title of this video, leading us into the first week of July, I will be doing the movie review for... Well, the bad movie review for the movie titled The Car Road to Revenge. So, there's not going to be really much... This is going to be just one of the talking quick... This is going to be a quick bad movie review because um, I, I, this has been on my mind for... I've actually seen this movie a couple of months ago and I've been deciding whether or not if I want to actually make a video about this or not because um, there aren't really any clips of this online. And, um, yeah, so um, there might just be a clip in the beginning of before before I talk. But um, if there isn't, then... um. This is just gonna be a real quick talking point video about this movie because I just I just finally decided I'm just gonna talk about it real quick because um this movie is something else. This movie is like um a modern day Christine where it's a bunch of people afraid of a fucking car. Um I just had to say it. But um yeah, it has the guy from Battlestar Galactica in it, Jamie Bamber, the uh um um William Adama's son from Battlestar Galactica. And the whole movie is pretty much um I'm getting some fancy technology. It's it is set in like the way in the future. Him getting some like fancy AI technology. Him dying with it like in his hands on a car, and um, he gets like infused with like his blood inside of the car. Like he goes like he breaks up with like his wife or his girlfriend, and um, and, uh, he goes after his wife or his girlfriend while he like possesses this car. That's pretty much the story of this movie, and it was fucking ridiculous. And now. I have not seen Christine, but I know, like, the premise of Christine, and this movie definitely screams Christine. Now, I also know, while looking this up, I know there is also, like, a 1970s version of this movie, which I will have to watch after making this review, and I will let you guys know when I watch that. But, um, I just had to point that out there. There is a 1970s one for The Car Road to Revenge, and this is not that one. This is the Netflix one. But, um... I just had to say, like, this movie was fucking nuts, and again, there is not really many clips out there. I don't know what Netflix made a deal or something, but, um, there's not many clips of this movie out here, so... Yeah, again, this was just really crazy and really out there, and, um... I'm giving this a two, maybe three stars out of five. I, I've i been getting a lot of these movies to two to three stars lately. I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on, man, but, um... Yeah, I just really felt like um this movie's been on my mind the last like month or two since I've been in quarantine and um it was like what the hell just make it a real quick bad movie and then go back to uh the normal bad movies um next week so um I guess with that that brings a close to this week's bad movie review and um I'll show you guys what's in store for next week's bad movie Friday Thanks for listening. I'll be right back, everybody, after this clip. Tranquilizer darts, two pistols, and a rifle. Check and check. Zombies 2. Again, that's Z-O-O-M-B-I-E-S 2. As I promised, I will be doing the sequel. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be next week's Bad Movie Friday. So, with that, I'm bringing this short Bad Movie review to a close. This is James saying, if you like what you've been seeing, please like and share for more. This is James saying, peace. I'll let Brandon Rogers say from here. See y'all in the next one, everybody. Right. Um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the shop. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.